whenever I show film from my six-month expedition uh, on the space station, I have to qualify some of the scenes, and I'll say things like, like I have one of, of the space station like this where the Earth is moving below it, the station, uh, the sh shuttle took it, and I'll say, I know this looks like animation, but it's actually really real. And so when I met uh, Alfonso Cuaron, he said, you know, I can't believe that you have been to space. And I said to him, well, after seeing gravity, I can't believe that you haven't. <laughs> And you know, I'm actually not making a joke. I, I just think it's, I, I think it's a wonderful film. And we're here tonight to meet some of the people who created a movie that brought all of us to space. And in my job as an astronaut, that's one of the things that's really hard about it is that I get to go, but my family doesn't get to go, my friends don't get to go, but gravity brought them to the place that meant so much to me. So both, both Alfonso and I are driven to take people on journeys to places that they can't go by themselves. And I think the visual experience is a really important part of making that happen. I have described my space flight uh, to folks in great detail before, and I think they think they understand all about it. I mean, I'll sit there at lunch, and we'll talk about things, and I'll describe things, and then I show the videos. And they look at me, and they go, oh, you were there. I became connected with the Gravity movie while I was living on the space station. My brother met Sandra Bullock's brother-in-law, and they put us together. How great is that? So during our phone conversations between Earth and space, Sandra and I focused really on two things. The first one was how to move. I tried to share what it felt like to get up in the morning and fly. You know, I'd open the door of my cabin, I would fly through the lab, I would hook a right through the node, do all those things that people do in the morning, and I would fly, as Peter Pan would say, straight on till morning. I wanted her to understand that you could move yourself anywhere with the lightest touch of a finger, and in fact, you could take a single hair from your head and you could stretch it between two hands, like this, and you could use it to push off of any kind of corner or thing, and that would move you all the way across the space station. That's how little force it takes. The second thing that we focused on was how it felt to live in space when everyone that you knew and loved was very far away. And despite our amazing technology here on this earth, we're still people. And I have a husband and a son who was 10 at the time, a grown stepson, and it was very hard to leave them behind. I mean, exploring the universe means real people doing hard things, and those people have families, they have friends, they have emotions. And I think in Gravity, they helped us get to know Ryan Stone. And by the end of the movie, we all really wanted her to find a reason to live and a reason to come home. So it's a very, very human thing to take these big steps. It was significant to me that Gravity had a female hero. I think it's invaluable for the next generations to see themselves in tough, resilient characters like Ryan Stone. The makers of Gravity sent a powerful message, and it is so important, that girls can be and need to be part of the technological solutions for our planet. Can you imagine the idea of millions of girls around the planet thinking that they could do anything? It's awesome. It's ironic to me that the world of movies and the world of space exploration share the same imperatives, to launch, live in orbit around our planet and come home safely, or to make a movie that takes people from their seats in, in a theater into orbit around the Earth. Well, it requires technology and innovation at their highest levels. But the ultimate result is to further the human experience. And with gravity, I think that you've shared not just a view of this beautiful planet, but what it felt like to have that view. Both movies and actual exploration ask us to suspend our disbelief, and I think that's okay. Today, we're learning to leave our planet at NASA. The newest US capsule is slated for its first unmanned flight later this year. That's very soon in our book. And in parallel, we're developing the technologies that we still need in order to travel to Mars. At some point in our future, some of our children are going to call another planet home. And 
I can look you in the eye and I can promise you that the experiments that we are doing on your space station are going to change your lives in terms of science, human physiology, and technology. And they're going to continue to change the very nature of the way that we live our lives on this and other planets. You in Hollywood, who create movies, films, and music, you'll continue to inspire the next generations, and so will we at NASA. Our children will see themselves in your movies and shows, and they're also going to see themselves in our real-life space dramas and our daily work in a place where failure isn't an option, but flying from place to place is a reality, and exploration is unstoppable. NASA and my space station crew salute the makers of gravity as fellow space travelers. We thank them for helping the world to visualize our mission and for showing everyone that there are explorers among us. <laughs>